Hi everyone, welcome today. Um, it's a few days working on my uh, project using envelopes. I've uh, binge watched quite a few um, envelope tutorials and I was left a little bit confused. So I thought I might just try to figure it out myself and see if I can actually make a journal uh, out of envelopes. And I did manage to, so that's my finished product that I have been um, working on. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to actually show you how uh, to build a journal using the envelope. So I'm going to do that now. And um, I'm going to do the flip through in the middle. And then I have got a last page here uh, where I have left blank and I will be uh, showing you how to build a collage using napkins. So mainly a lot of the stuff that I've used in this journal are napkins. So if you want to actually see how I um, build my, uh, uh, my page, uh, yeah, feel free to just wait until the end. So what I'm going to start with is this. So what I've done is these are just uh, envelopes that I had spare and I've labeled them. So I've labeled them one to seven as you can see. But I'm going to start off with showing you how easy it is. So I've labeled that one and two. Now as you can see two slips into one. So I'm only showing you with this this particular type of envelope. You, you may have a different style. I don't know if it works, but I'm just showing you with this one. So that slips in there and you need to do, so I haven't done lots and lots of pages. I've just, because I wanted to try to see if it worked. So I've just really done uh, six pages. So do the same for three and four. Uh, four slips into three, five, uh, six slips into number five. So as you can see, that slips into here. And why I've labeled it is so that you can see how they all fit in because when they're all white, sometimes it's really hard to see. Um, so I'm just going to leave that there like that. So it's three, four. So one, two, three, four. And then what you can do is label the last one, only one by itself as seven, like that. So that's gonna go at the top. And doesn't matter if the numbers are there because you're gonna collage over it anyway. So I thought that that might be easy to, to show you how they all fit together because then you can, and I'll show you the gluing in a minute. So for one and two, I just wanted to show you. Now I have got these sticky things here. Now you don't have to have ones that are sticky. If you have just normal um, ones, that's fine. So I'm just slipping that in, right in up to here. And that's already stuck down. And this part here, I'm just going to remove that sticky thing here. This flap is meant to glue onto three. So I'm just going to grab my glue stick. So I put glue on number three and, and fold the flap here. So this flap is from the one and two. And then this number four goes into number three like how we did before. So I'll remove that and of course you can glue it on either this side so that you can slip that in like that. And I've just, so there's glue on that side. And so that's number four. And so this one now, has to go on there okay so I don't have to remove that uh, but I might because I can put something else on top of that so 
this comes here and this part glues onto there right and same with six so I'm just going to remove that and that goes into here now and this part here I'm just because that's the last one I'm just going to put the seven over it so this one here I'm just going to remove that and that just goes there and now with the seven that's going to sit like that because I didn't want that binding to be seen so you know the the envelope separating like that so what I'll do is I'll remove that you can put extra glue if it's not strong enough which I think I might so I'm gonna put some glue there and that goes there so it acts like a cover I just move that across a little bit and this part as you see that just falls at the back and it doesn't matter even if it's not neat and tidy because it's going to be collaged anyway so as you can see oops that's your base of your envelope journal um, I hope that has uh, helped you if you're you're thinking how to build a journal really quickly now I know I'm normally a fan of the A6 journal but I decided to make a small one because I was curious as to how to build this journal so I just wanted to show you now my um, my flip oh, I've show you my flip through I'm just going to uh, show you how I use this napkin to actually cover this page so as you can see there's several layers you do need to remove them because if you don't it will actually come out uh, when they dry the top will lift up and I'm just going to do the process and you can watch it just cutting around the flower uh, I use Elmer glue uh, two parts Elmer glue one part water I do have a video if um, you want to see the whole process of how to put napkins on but this one is one that I've done previously and so I'm just going to actually put that on here You could use glue stick, but because I've got the Elmer glue there, I might as well just use that. And I've fussy cut around that flower. And I'm thinking there. going to put the glue on the um, tissue or rather napkin itself oops and I wouldn't worry if um, it actually creases uh, because as you can see it acts, adds texture to it uh, you might be a perfectionist and and I know that that's going to be an issue 
so uh, for me it's okay um, to actually have it um, bubble up in fact I think it adds texture that's just my personal opinion um, so I'm just going to do that as you can see the um, the colors are, are beautiful uh, this particular serviette uh, is just so pretty I went to um, my mother-in-law's house and I saw some and I actually asked her if I can have a couple of each one and uh, it's a blessing to be able to be given because you don't need a lot like just one will do because it probably will do you know you can have four different uh, projects or or you know um, yeah because you know you can split it up so I think I'm gonna leave that one there um, let's see what we've got so I'm going to use this part here and just remove some of that there is another layer I forgot to take this one off actually sometimes there might be th three layers um, so just make sure you remove the layers because when you stick it down Yeah, there might be three layers on some of them. Some of them is two, but some of them have got three layers. Um, actually, I like fussy cutting them, I think. I've concluded because um, rather than putting a whole piece like this one on here, you see how it actually, um, I don't know, it looks better. It frames the, the page almost. Um, so I'm just going to do this one on the other end. Uh, yeah, I think I also like ripping it rather than having straight edges like this. Because um, it gives a bit of interest. So I think... And I'm going to let that overhang a little bit. As you can see, I have had that a little bit overhanging. I like that look you may not that's okay too um, you do what what feels right for you you know there's no right or wrong way to do something uh, I'm always trying new things since I started junk journaling um, and then I'm discovering things um, things that it's yeah it's really amazing so I'm just going to see what else I can add to it. Alright, with napkins, you can actually overlap that. I just wanted to show you, see how that's butterflies overlapping? That's okay, you can certainly do that because, um, because it's like translucent. See how it doesn't matter, you'll still see what's underneath. And uh, that's the good part. That's why I actually love uh, working with nap napkins. I've realized that it actually gives you a lot more options um, and so this one I've um, I've ripped that as well so I'm just gonna put that one there and you will see that the layer underneath I don't know if you can see but as I put the Elmer glue on uh, I know some people use Mod Podge uh, if you have that go ahead and use that um, that's fine uh, I don't have much posh, so I've always, um, I'm looking for alternatives, and the Elma glue is actually a great alternative. Can you see how this sits on top of that of that leaf? 
yes, you can do things like that and, and it actually looks really nice and if you can see the bottom part of this, you can see the white tissue coming through as well. Um, that's the good thing about using um, tissue or rather napkin. Um, the Because it's translucent, uh, there's lots you can do with it. Um, see this part here? I don't know if you can see. I'm just going to put that over this side. Um, and so that's just going to sit there and even though that's overlapping, that's fine. It will um, come through and you'll see that it's it almost almost blends together you know to make a different picture and what I'm gonna do now is to put this one here like that so um, it's it's been a fun project actually um, uh, working with uh, napkins I think I certainly would uh, do this again and I think the good thing about the envelope journal, uh, which I found is if you want to do a mini project, uh, it's great to be able to, or even a gift for someone, right? Like you don't want lots and lots of pages. You want to build something that's reasonably quick. So it just took me a couple of days, I would say, to really um, plan and think about what I needed to do. And by the time, and I'm able to finish what I mean to finish the project relatively quickly so um, I guess this is a good way if you you needed a quick project and you want to a weekend or say if you went away and you wanted to complete something within that time frame uh, this is a good way to do it okay I bought some uh, lace um, a few weeks ago uh, and I wanted to incorporate lace into this particular journal uh, and I think I'm, I'm going to put that in there um, and maybe a few little things and so so with lace I'm just going to use the Elmer glue not diluted but uh, I'm just going to put it along the edge here um, I wanted the lace to be sticking out a little bit uh, just giving that vintage kind of look um, uh, that's something that's uh, the theme of uh, this particular journal I wanted it to look um, a little bit vintage not too vintage but a little bit um, and and I think the envelope journal is a really good way to do theme um, um, things, you know, so that it's not too many pages. You are not doing like 20 pages of the same theme and you might get bored. So I think that it's a perfect way to do mini projects. Um, let me see what else I can add to it. Okay, the other thing I found is this. This is Goss, um, G A U Z E Goss. You know when you you have a wound and you put Goss over it sometimes, uh, similar like plaster, but it's Goss. Um, it adds texture to your page. So um, and this is um, one. So I've got a whole stack of these cards which my daughter gave me. I think she may have bought them uh, from Timu or somewhere and she gave me some. So I thought I might use some of these. Um, I haven't decided which one. Uh, maybe I might build a cluster. A cluster is there might be a few things stacking and layering on top of one another. Okay, let's see how I'll, do, I'll go. Alright, I have found some flowers, some dried flowers. Uh, this was a bit of that tissue that was left over. And the word faithful. Uh, I stapled them together. And 
that is just I think just going to go on the page I'm quite happy with that I haven't actually glued the uh, stuff on yet I don't think I need to add any more or else it will be too much less is more oh it's stormy outside so I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that so I decided to um, add this paper clip here and I've stapled this to the um, uh, the page and I think I might just cut this part out and put that in here because um, that's going to stick out so I had to stop the video before there was a storm and I had to go and deal with a few drips Anyway, um, I managed to actually get it finished and so I'm just going to do the flip through now and I'm so sorry if I got the order wrong at the start. I'm still learning so please forgive me. Um, but I'm excited to see, to show you the finished product. So while I'm doing the flip through, I'll just let you enjoy the pages.